Impact Interview is sponsored by the Pocono Mountains, where small town charm meets big adventures. Book your trip today by visiting PoconoMountains.com. Well, our Impact Interview guest really needs no introduction to Penn State fans. You know, Joe Paterno once said, don't worry about replacing me when I'm gone. You need to worry about replacing Sue. Sue Paterno came to Penn State as a student in the late 1950s and never left. In that time, she taught English at Belfont High School before starting a family. Over the next 60 plus years, she tutored Penn State players in English and gave her time and effort to raise money for Penn State and get involved in causes from hospitals to the Pennsylvania State Special Olympics. As part of that effort, she is the captain of the Happy Valley Cruise this March 3rd through the 10th, leaving from New York City and going to the Bahamas. The cruise benefits the Loretta Claiborne and Sue Paterno Endowment for Pennsylvania Special Olympics. You can join the fun by booking at happyvalleycruise.com. We want to talk about the Pennsylvania State Special Olympics Board and your work with them that you've done for decades. But you've been involved in planning the games, raising money for the games, and now leading another Happy Valley cruise. So can you tell us a little bit about what the endowment will do for Special Olympics, Olympics and how much fun these cruises have been in the past? Well, endowments, I believe, are necessary for any nonprofit to carry you through the bad times. The endowment which has just been set up, so we're trying to fill the, the uh, coffers. We have the Beaver Stadium run. We have the uh, all the polar plunges. And now we're doing the cruise to try to raise money for the endowment. If you would go back 40 years when I first started volunteering with Special Olympics, it was a smaller group of athletes. And how far we've come from, say, 1985 till now, it's unbelievable. And it's unbelievable because of the volunteers and because of the athletes responding to everything we do. Now, what we do on this cruise is, uh, let's say Penn Staters know how to have a good time <laughs> and we have a blast. They, uh, they might not know each other before the cruise, but before the second day, everybody knows everybody else. And we have a great time together, all the athletes we have on board, and that includes Tom. We have a blast, and nobody cares how you sing or dance or what. Everybody gets to know each other and all the stories crisscross. So we have fun while we're doing something for Special Olympics, and that to me is what it's all about. Well, for decades, uh, you have cooked mass dinners at your home um, for for donors and friends and alumni of Penn State. And by some estimates, those donors have gone on to contribute over a billion dollars to Penn State. You continue to stay involved uh, with Penn State, even all these years later. Um, so what drives that passion uh, for your alma mater? Well, I went to Penn State, and I love Penn State. And I would guess I would say... I love Penn State, I love the students, and I love the faculty, and I love the town. It's the future of the world depends on the future of our young people. And we can't step back and not fund their progress. It's the future, it's not about them and about something that happened. It's who Penn State is. And if you're a Penn Stater, you have pride in Penn State and you want it to continue, to grow and do more and more for the students. And I, I think that's what drives me. I think it's the love of this place and also the hope we can do the best we can for our future students. Sue, so you, you tutored players in English starting in the late 1960s and continuing for well over 40 years. How important was it to you, both you and Joe, to have education be the keystone of Penn State football for so many years? Well, when we were talking to the parents of the recruits on Saturday night at our house, the important thing is the first thing they had to do was get their education. And that was all important. Football was necessary for them to succeed on the field, but you don't want to succeed on the field and leave here without a degree. So Joe's rule was no class, no books, no play. We got married in 62 and that summer I tutored a coach's neighbor's son, who went on to become a cardiologist. He's in Florida. So then the other coaches found out I could tutor. So, <clears throat> so I was tutoring in 62. They started bringing kids to the house. And then when I kept having kids, 
they had to bring the kids to the house because I couldn't leave. But uh, And I believed in it, and I made them a promise that what happened at tutoring sessions would not be told to the coaches. So that made it easier to work with them. And it, it just, you know, we believed in the education first. What a pleasure to speak with Sue Paterno. Tom and I still have so many questions in relation to Jay growing up. We're going to step aside for the TV show to take a break. We will continue our interview with Sue. So if you want to see the entire conversation, make sure you go to NittanyGameWeek.com where you can find our interview along with other web exclusive content.